There's some potatoes in here. I wonder, can I eat those? Where the potatoes in? just got out where i had to prep myself up because this traffic be beating me down like y'all saw how lifeless i was <laughs> this traffic be having me like what's life but anyway so i just pulled up i'm about to i need to be getting my stuff out of my bag i got an appointment wax and i just forgot because i always take like an ibuprofen before so it won't hurt so bad but i'm just I'm going on faith today, okay? Okay, guys. So, I totally forgot to finish vlogging the other day. But, it was torture. And, I'm pretty sure y'all knew that by now. But, I'm at yet another appointment. I'm not looking forward to this. Here we go. So, they're numb my mouth because I have to get one uno filling. So they're gonna none right now and the doctor's gonna come in and inject anesthetics with a needle in my gum. I'm not I'm not uh thrilled about this. I hate needles. Glad that's over. Three PM, right? Yeah, I believe three. Yeah. Alright, let me post your visit. Mm -hmm. Now I had bite box two. They just put them on last week, I think. Mm -hmm. Girl, why they dissolved and one of them came off? I must have swallowed it, girl. I was eating <laughs> yeah. some, I was eating some raisin canes and like it came off. Yeah. So the other one is starting to dissolve. Do do yours do that? I mean, like Mind, they dissolve because you're you're biting. Um. Okay. So here's what's about to go down. <sighs> Let me just show y'all this. Y'all ready? I've never done this by myself before, but I'm gonna get low because I need to show y'all. I'm really scared. Excuse everything, you, you didn't see that. <laughs> so, a friend of mine blessed me with these. They had a, a ball and they had like a lot left over, so I think he didn't cook them all the way. I think he, uh, I'm not sure what he did, but they not cooked all the way. I have to cook these. He said I have to cook these. He might have seasoned them and then probably let them cook a tad so they won't go bad. I'm not sure. But if y'all from New Orleans, do y'all know how these go? Let me know. So I'm going to try, I'm spitting, to cook one of these. He told me. Let me tell y'all what he told me. Don't worry. It's on ice. Um, so they're not warm or anything like that. And they never got warm, warm. So, yeah, because it's like ice in there. Right? Um, I'm, I'm going to try. So, everybody who can really help me, um, it, probably sleep. But I'm about to celebrate uh, new beginnings. Because tomorrow, I'm supposed to go apartment hunting. So, isn't that exciting? Yes. So, I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to have wine. Y'all remember when I used to be addicted to wine? But, like, I kind of slowed down because, you know, my fitness and stuff. And, like, that kind of stuff slow you down. I ain't really good for your system. So, yeah. I'm about to attempt this. So, I added the mix to my pot. And... It says bring to a bowl and then I'm going to add my stuff. Oh my God, it scared me. <laughs> I'm going to add my stuff and then I'm going to add my crawfish. I'm going to let it cook for like two minutes and then I'm going to let it sit in like the juices for like 20, 15 or 20. And then I'm going to pray and then I'm going to eat. Okay, y'all, so it's boiling, it's boiling. <laughs> Ugh, it's leaky. 
again please excuse my ratchet appearance but this how y'all be in the house too the bag is kind of wet oh what is that why is it that cup oh it's <sighs> How am I gonna do this? This shit gonna splash. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to do this? I didn't think this through. <laughs> Gotta be safe, baby. And they say, put that in the sink. Say, put that on there. And bring it to a boil again. Don't smell too bad. <coughs> They're ready. I hope I don't die. I just want to make sure they cook, you know? And not overcook. Should I just test one out? Grab it by its whiskers. Hi, little guy. I leave something to put you on. I was told if they're too mushy, not to eat them. Does that mean I need to cook them more? Or they're just bad? A bad batch. They don't smell, there's no foul smell. They smell just like crawfish, but they're mushy. So, I don't know if I can really show y'all what I'm doing. The tail's not straight, it's curled. It's kinda hot, but see, that's never done that before. Look how easy, you usually have to twist it off, so. I think I'm just gonna throw it in the garbage. Yeah, it's it's too mushy. I've been eating these things long enough to know the texture, and it's not supposed to be breaking apart like that. Gosh, I sure hate that. Yeah, it's literally falling apart. So that's not the consistency that it's supposed to be. So I think this was a fail. I'm so disappointed, y'all. Y'all don't understand, but see how it's, even the the booty is just breaking apart. Look how easy they're snapping off. It doesn't look right. All this is a waste, a waste, man. I eat some potatoes in here. I wonder, can I eat those? Where the potatoes in? They don't even feel like they feel soft. The way they clinging together, bruh. I'm like a uh, crawfish connoisseur that don't know how to cook them. I just go to boys all the time. They don't stink though. That's what throws me off. I know they're supposed to have a foul smell if they're bad, but these don't. I'm kind of mad right now because I feel like I wasted my time going to the store to buy this mix. I feel like my house smells like crawfish for no reason. I didn't even get to enjoy anything. But yeah, I'm, I was kind of skeptical about trying it because I've never eaten them anything but live before it was live before it was cooked. I know a lot of people won't touch them unless you know they like. Ooh, they go. Uh, Y'all think it's safe to eat this potato? A lot of people won't eat them unless they live, especially if you're from Louisiana. But, like, they were live, but I guess he had too many. So, I'm not sure exactly what he did, but they were cooked probably halfway or something like that. I don't know how he did it, but they were on ice when I got them. But they just, I don't know. Okay, so... I'm mentally tired. I'm physically tired. I just literally had to throw away think something I love. Like, okay, let's talk. Cause you know it's Tuesday or whatever. Oh, food makes me happy. 
And, like, y'all just don't know how bad I, I, it hurt me to take that to the dumpster. And, like, my house smell like crawfish now. And I didn't even get to enjoy it. So, let's talk. Um, I really don't think that this was, like, solely my fault. Because I think that they weren't in the best condition when I got them. But, um, I just tried to make do with what I had, basically. Um, you know, so it is Tuesday, you know, and we're talking. Um, what is something that you can't cook that you wish you could? I know it's going to be somebody that, like, I can cook anything. It's something. It's a dish that you can't make that you wish or just something that you wish to try. I know a lot of people don't even know how to eat crawfish. Like, how? But, you know, I am Southern, so, yeah, um... That'd be interesting to know. Um, another interesting to thing to uh just to throw at y'all. When I was in the grocery store getting the seasoning for the crawfish, this boy I don't say boy, this dude stopped me and he was like, Hey, do you know how to cook beets? And he had some beets in like a whole bunch of like groceries, you know. I peeped through a lot of it was processed food or whatever, but I don't know who he he might have had a lot of kids at home still, not healthy for them. But um he was like, Do you know how to cook beets? And I was like Mm, no he was like oh, okay because i just wanted to try some new and i seen beets um online this recipe and i wanted to try some but but um he was like should i i'm thinking about just getting canned beets to try them to see if i like them i was like definitely get the fresh beets i don't know why all the stuff over there that you probably never tried before why you would choose beets but like it was crazy. Then his baby mama came over there and she was like, you ain't gonna even like them beats. She was like, you don't know how to cook them. Might as well get the canned ones, try it out. And I was like, oh my God. You see how people are brainwashed to believe. I wouldn't go, now that I know that food just sits in a can with like preservatives, like, I think real long and hard before I pick up a can. The only thing I eat out of the can is the Rotel dip, which is lazy because they could be made, um, you know, with the diced tomatoes or whatever. And tuna. Desi. So, it was so funny. So, I guess something that he can't cook, he would like to try, would be tuna. I mean, beets. So, what? what's yours? Let me know in the comments. Um, you know, I do do X Witty Fridays. So, I know y'all probably like, we know, we know. But, if you have a question, you can send it to Help Me Pretty Witty 77. And, we're going to get your life right. The question pertaining to you. You having problems with at your job. You having problems with your do, your side piece or whatever you know i can help you so send your emails i think we're fresh out of those right now so and if you send an email and i did not answer it like resend it so yeah um thank you guys so much for like laughing at my pain but <laughs> why would i thank y'all for laughing at my pain i don't know but i'm truly hate hate ha i'm truly hurt shoot this is like the crawfish blues. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna see y'all Friday. Made so many mistakes, I know that my niggas relate. Just to rattle my case, so much shit they sat on my plate. She know me through records, but she don't know me too well.